The last thing I really want to show you as far as the base structure of this game is crafting. Crafting was one of the last things I was working on, so it's not... It is complete, but it's not, you know, as big as it could be, and it will be bigger. Um, the, it, open up your crafting, and basically, you know, the top's pretty much the same. It's going to select the shop. Uh, if type equals cooking or weaponsmith or armorsmith, depending on what you're doing, it's going to set, it's going to select all from the recipes of the recipe you picked, and we'll go back to that here in a minute. And then we're going to do ingredient check. We're going to see if you have the ingredient. So, right now, got ingredient equals zero. Uh, it's going to do a check, select name from inventory, and then it's going to, it's going to scroll, it's going to check to see if, if you have that recipe. If you don't, then it's going to say, um, it's going to be um, it's going to check the recipe and if you don't have the recipe if it does not equal one then you're missing that recipe if you do have it it's going to equal one and it's just going to skip it but it's going to go through and tell you what you're missing if you don't have it that's how it kind of cycles through it if um, if no recipe does not equal one then you have everything because you see here if you're missing only one then it's going to equal one, but if it doesn't, if you've got everything, then it's going to skip it. And then if type equals cooking, it's going to go through and echo cooking food. Uh, it's going to add the ingredient. It's going to go through your cooking skill and do some algorithms here to, to, to give you a, kind of a simulation of you trying to cook. And there's not going to be a whole lot posted to the screen, but it's going to be it's gonna in the back end it's gonna say it's gonna make a difficulty and, and see how well you are the better you're cooking the better you get and if you fail to cook if you fail to add an ingredient uh, you're just gonna fail out but if you don't it's gonna successfully add the ingredient and you're gonna move to two then move to two you're gonna try to add another ingredient and it's gonna and then once you get to two as long as you add two ingredients it's automatically gonna give you something out of it if you fail on the first two you're done and it's not going to give you anything but the only thing is is if you if you get if you fail like let's say you only get three out of the five your 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 item is not going to be as good as the other items and that's what I've done here is that I've uh, I've changed up the items to where they're not as good as an, as a normal item um, we are going to delete the items from the inventory as far as the ingredients that you had and you can just kind of scroll through this and see kind of how I'm doing it. Um, they're kind of one right after the other. You'll see that uh, it, after every ingredient you'll see um, a half-baked item or something like that was added to your inventory and it's just not as good as a normal item. When you make it all the way to five down here it's going to be a full good item and that means you you did make it. But that's all the way down here. But each, uh, each ingredient is going to be checked. If you fail the ingredient You'll uh, if you fail the first one, you don't get anything, but you'll just have your your that first ingredient deleted. If you make the second one, then uh, you'll bake this half baked thing. Third one half baked, and and but they'll get better and better until you make all five of them. But it basically just cycles through. And let's say you get the first two, and you're trying to make a chocolate acorn. It's going to give you chocolate acorn, but it's not going to be as good as a full chocolate acorn. It's only going to delete those two, and it's just going to say you you baked a half good one. And you can try again, and if you get all five. Well, then you've you've made a perfect one. It's going to delete all five of your your items. I hope I didn't complicate it too much. It's better. I thought about this before, kind of making this video, and it's better if you just read through it on how I did it because it's real easy. It's 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 real simple per deal. The weapon shop is exactly the same. The armor, I mean, the weapon crafting, the armor crafting is also. It's basically you're just taking the ingredients, you're checking your your skill against it. If you do it, you pass. You go on to the next ingredient. If you don't, you fail and you're done right there. Depending on where you fail, you may get an item that's, that's kind of crappy like right here. You see how it's dividing that item and you're not getting the full item. Um, if you failed before you finish this one, it's, it's going to divide it by 1.7 so all of the the, uh, the durability and all that's not going to be as good as a normal item. It's just copied one right after the other. So if you want to come in here and add more types of crafting, all you do is copy and paste and just change you know, some of the things like these weapons. They're, they're combat and stuff like that's not going to be as good and you just look into the into the to the recipes and you can continue to add more recipes from the from the back end on the database and that's how they'll be able to make new items so every item you make you need to make a recipe for on what it's going to take of what material 
uh, what items it's going to take, and that way this not only increases your 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 weapons, but all the items that the the players can find.